So let's put it this way. Would you use your body lotion to shower instead of your regular soap? I think not. If you do, that's nasty. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Exotic Roots here, I make natural hair and lifestyle videos. Today we'll be talking about co-washing. What is it exactly? Do you really need it within your hair routine? So it is the act to wash the hair with a cleansing conditioner instead of a shampoo or as a product it is just a gentle cleanser. It's like a bridge between a shampoo and a conditioner. A couple of years back, um, some people were just using a conditioner to cleanse their hair, which is not really beneficial for the hair because it will end up creating more buildup on the hair. So let's put it this way. Would you use your body lotion to shower instead of your regular soap? I think not. If you do, that's nasty. <laughs> so that's why a lot of brands came out with co-washes. They, they carry co-washes within their lines. I'll put a couple of examples on the screen from different brands that carry co-washes. The one that I'm using today is from As I Am. It's part of their newest launches for the Dry, Itchy, and Scalp Care line. I recently purchased this one. Um, it's my second time using it. As you can see, it has a very creamy consistency. It's like a bridge, as I said, between a conditioner and a shampoo. It is a little bit more liquid than a regular conditioner. I apply it as I would a regular shampoo. I work it in my hands first, then I apply focusing on my scalp first, then running it through the length of my hair. I scrub, 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 mostly on my scalp because you know that's where most of the gunk, sweat, and oils are located. Then I also focus on my edges because that's where you apply the most product mostly if you're laying your edges down or if you're applying more gels or styling products so just making sure that the perimeter of your hair is thoroughly cleansed I also run the product through the length of my hair as you can see in this clip I got just enough slip to start finger detangling however I felt like I needed a little bit more which is why I applied a regular conditioner after rinsing this out you'll see that in a later clip so who is co-washing for if you wash your hair more than once a week, I would definitely suggest that you use a co-wash instead of a regular shampoo the other times that you wash your hair. If you're very active, you go to the gym, you sweat a lot on your scalp and you feel like your scalp is itching and you need to wash your hair in the middle of the week, you can definitely use a co-wash. However, if you only wash your hair every two weeks or even like once a week, I would suggest that you use a regular shampoo because the co-wash alone will not remove the amount of buildup or products that you applied on your hair within the week prior. So how do you know if a product is a co-wash? Most of the time it will have that on the packaging, on the label. It will say cleansing conditioner or straight up co-wash. If you've used um, Diva Curl Nopu or Nopu Decadence, both of them are co-washes. They will gently cleanse the hair, but they will not do the same work as a moisturizing shampoo or a clarifying shampoo. It's something that you use midweek or if you go to the beach and you don't feel like heavy duty washing your hair definitely you can use a co-wash cool but it's not something that should replace your shampoo if you're done rinsing out your hair check your scalp to see if it's squeaky clean if you feel like there is a residue or there's buildup that means that your hair was too dirty for that co-wash cool so you definitely need to go in with a shampoo instead of just a co-wash cool as I mentioned, this co-wash didn't leave me with a lot of slips, so I decided to apply a little bit of conditioner, regular conditioner, not a deep conditioner. Um, I'm using a lot here because I was filming a TikTok video, so that's why I'm using so much, but usually I wouldn't use all of that. So then I detangled my hair with a tangled teaser. As you can see, I'm not making a lot of sections, but I do make sure to start um, from my ends all the way through my roots.
after detangling my hair this is the amount of hair that I lost um, I don't know if this a lot for you is this not a lot for you let me know in the comment section and then after rinsing the wash out you can do whatever style you want wash and go twist out a bun to fringe braid you're free to do whatever because your scalp is clean and you're ready for the next three days or five days until you decide to wash your hair again but this time maybe with a shampoo <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something new. If you did learn something new, give me a thumbs up. And also if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm Exotic Roots there as well. I post almost every day. And on YouTube, I have a new video going live every week. Sometimes twice a week. So I'll see you on the other side. Bye guys.